What's up guys, this is Alex Chess one and in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to make an IP getter. This video is requested by Stefan, who saw my earlier video of the program I made which gets the IP of a website. Um, it can be found by clicking the annotation somewhere over here. So, as you can see, I already have lots of the program already done, and that's because I have written all the starter code, so we don't have to worry about, you know, messing with all this basic uh, stuff and you know taking way too much time than it's needed. I've imported java.awt swing awt event it's pretty standard stuff here but this is the most important java.net which will help us get our IP. So let me just quickly run through the code uh, extends jframe simple uh, we have seven components here two text fields two buttons and two labels these two labels will be describing what these text fields do and these will be acting as our catalyst to get our IPs. So as soon as the person but clicks a button, this output field will it will output something, of course. So here, as you can see, for super, it's the title, the size, uh, resizable, uh, set default close operation, and I've decided to keep main panel dot set layout to grid layout to just keep it fairly simple. If you haven't seen my previous video, um, I'm just going to click run here and this is what it will look like in the end, but it'll function. All right, so let's just get down to coding it. Let's go ahead and create an anonymous in a class for our get IP button. So get IP dot add action listener, new action listener and whoops. Alright, and we got to do public void action perform action event E. So here is where all the magic happens. Here is where we will be actually putting in the meat of our program. So first let's get string host equals get IP dot get text. And basically this just gets the text the user has inputted. Um, whenever you're using java.net you have to use tries and catches or you have to throw an exception so we'll just use tries and catches to you know make life easier so we'll do try and catch and I'll just put catch all the exceptions just in case there's one and it has to be ex because we already used e up here so ex dot print stack trace fairly simple and here what we want to do is do inet address and this is an array by default and we'll call this address equals inet address dot get all by name string host we already have that so basically what I'm doing here is I'm using this inbuilt pid and here's more detail about it clearly an IP address is either 32 bit or 128 bit and this will basically get us the IP of the host name. This, this is where the stuff happens, right? Uh, and that's all it is. And our next steps will be to make a for loop that iterates over this array and gets our IP. Now, since our host isn't um, an array, there will only be, of course, one item in this array. But if you had numerous items, then this array will be populated with a bunch of other um, all the other host names. So if you're planning to make a program which like takes in a, lo a list of a list of uh, names, then this could you could put this as an array. All right. So let's go ahead and make an enhanced for loop. So for inet address ip to address. All right. Fairly simple. If you're not aware of what I'm doing here uh, for the action listener or this enhanced for loop. I'll leave a quick link in the description so you can just pause the video and go to it. So check the description out right now if you're not, if you don't understand uh, action listener or an enhanced what an enhanced for loop is. So now that we've um, made our for loop, we can just extract the data. So we'll just do output dot set text ip dot two string, and if we do this. Here's the main problem. If we just do ip.toString, this is what we get. www.google.com. Get IP. 
Oh, we already have an arrow. Hmm, what could be wrong? Oh, wait, I know. Alright, I found the mistake. Um, it was slightly stupid on my part. I'm sorry. Um, what we've said here is string host equals get IP dot get text and get IP is our button. So this has to be actually our um, input text field and it will make a lot more sense. So let's go ahead and just run this. And again, back to where we were before our little mishap here. This is the problem when you do get IP and if you just do IP dot to string. You see you get the host name and then you get the IP and that's not something that we want. We, ju we want just the IP. So this is what we'll do. We'll do IP dot to string dot replace. And here we'll put in host plus our escape char. And here in our new char, we'll just put an empty string. So what this will do is it will replace the host plus the forward slash that we saw and it will replace that with emptiness right here. Nothing, no string. So let's go ahead and run this and then there we go. Bam, only the IP, exactly what we want. Now all we have to do is make a clear button and we're done. And that's the easiest. So just like how we made a get IP dot add action listener, we'll do clear dot add action listener. So clear dot add action listener, <coughs> new action listener, same thing. We're basically copying the same thing. And we'll do public void action performed action event e alrighty and this is the simplest all we have to do is output dot set text empty and input again spell <laughs> dot set text empty and there you are so let's just go ahead and run this uh, www.google.com get IP that's our IP press clear everything's gone perfectly working awesome so I'm just gonna go over this one more time what I've done so we've made in get IP dot add action listener we have we have avoided making a class that's our action listener this is just a quick and dirty way to do it this host variable will get the put text then we set up a try and catch because it's mandatory to do so we have this inbuilt method called inet dot inet address which we've imported from java net and inet dot get all by name the host so this will just get the ip of the host we have to iterate over this array because it's an array and all we're doing is we're just doing output dot set text ip dot to string and since we saw it gives us the whole it gives us domain name and gives us the ip we'll just remove the domain name by doing host plus the forward slash and we'll replace that with an empty string so it's as simple as this gets clear method is very self-explanatory as soon as you click it you set the text to null or not null sorry you set the text to empty and you set the output text sorry to empty and the input text is empty so that's pretty much it um, as you can see i've made the main class within this one file that's generally not good practice you shouldn't do that you should have a separate class but this is just to save time so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you very much for watching it and i'll see you guys next time